What's up guys and welcome back to Software Under Solutions and today we're talking about what you can do inside Windows itself to make your games run a little bit smoother. I'm talking about every single game you are playing right now. Now this is for everyone out there, it doesn't matter what machine you are currently running. We're going to be talking about NVIDIA Control Panel, Open Hardware Monitor, MSI Afterburner and River Tuner and then also Windows settings to get the best performance out of every game you are playing right now at this very moment. Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into this video and let's get this going. Alright ladies and gentlemen, as you can see I'm on my desktop right now, so there's a few things that comes into play when you are playing games. Now there's a few things that runs in the background that people don't need. You do not need these things to run in the background while you are playing your games, because what it's going to do is it's going to use resources of your RAM and your CPU and your GPU while playing your games. Now as you can see I have this over here where it is a moving background picture. Now this is Wallpaper Engine. I switch this off every time I jump into a game or basically before I jump into a game I switch this off because it does use resources of my GPU, my RAM and my CPU all at the same time while playing games. Now there's a lot of things that come into play with what runs in the background and what uses resources and then what you want to do is you want to just basically switch all of those resources off to get the best performance out of your games. Now what I do is I do this, I just click over here because it runs through Steam, it's called Wallpaper Engine, I just right click on it and I quit and then I have a stable solid background picture and nothing's running in the background and then this is going to help increase performance for your machine in general. Now you want this to be happening because then your games are going to run at a smoother frame rate and your game is going to just run much much better because there's nothing running in the background now there's another thing that you can go do, ahead and do is go to the search button over here and then type in settings just like this and press enter and then go to privacy and scroll all the way down and then go to background apps now i highly recommend if you have this on like this because there's a lot of things that run in the background all of these things are running in the background you might have more things inside of here so i highly recommend you go ahead and just switch this off Please go ahead and do this. These are all background stuff that runs in the background that uses resources of your machine that you do not need running in the background while you are playing games. All right, so the next thing you're going to need to do is go to home over here and then go to personalize. Now, this is very important for people out there that is running games on their laptops. Okay, you're going to go to colors like this and you're going to make this from light. Sorry for the flashbang if you're watching this at night. If you're going to change this, please go ahead and do so. Change it to dark mode. This is for laptops. It's specifically for laptops. I have mine on dark and I'm running a desktop machine. It still helps performance in your PC, your machine, your laptop. It helps a lot. Trust me, it does. Go ahead and turn transparency effect off and then choose any color inside here. I do use this one called Storm. Just the darker, the better performance you're going to get out of your machine. This is especially for people with laptops. Now I'm running a desktop computer and I still go ahead and do this because it helps a lot with my machine's performance. All right, the next step you're going to need to do is go back to the home page up here. I'm going to go through every single setting that you can change here to make your games run a little bit better. All right, go to gaming over here and you're going to go to game mode. Now, this depends on the machine that you're running at this very moment. If you're running a laptop, if you're running a desktop machine, if you're running a budget gaming laptop or a budget gaming PC, or all the way to a high-end gaming machine. If you turn this on and you do get, I don't know, a little bit more FPS out of your games or a little bit less, depending on if you switch it on or off, then go ahead and play around with this setting only. Go ahead and see what it does. If you switch this on, you jump into a game and you, I don't know, you lose frames, then go ahead and switch it off. If you jump into a game and you have this on and you have better frames in your game, then obviously it is general knowledge that you're going to have to keep this on. All right. Now for me, with my machine that I'm currently running, it's a 9700K with an RTX 2060 OC graphics card and 16 gigs of RAM. That's also overclocked. Every single component in my machine is overclocked. If I put this on, I don't see any increase or decrease in my FPS. If I put this off, I don't see any increase or decrease in my FPS. So I just keep it off because it doesn't do anything for me. But you might be one of those people that if you switch it on, you get better performance, or if you switch it off, you get better performance. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to click on the home button over here. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to update and security. It's very, very important to keep your machine up to date. So just check for updates and make sure that your Windows is up to date 
on a regular basis. Please, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and do this. You need to do this. You need to keep your machine up to date. It doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you have this optional download, please go ahead and download and install this. I'm not going to do this right now because then I'm going to make the video much, much longer than what it already is. So I'm just going to leave this as is. But please go ahead and download and install the latest versions for your Windows. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to go out of this and you're going to go to the search button over here and type in edit power plan just like this and then open this up right go to power options like this now for laptops some pcs as well do not have these over here high performance power saver the best settings okay i made that ultimate performance these three here high performance power saver and then ultimate performance i highly recommend you go ahead and make your own power plan for your specific machine so now let's go ahead and do that create a plan over here go to high performance go over here and then say the best settings for games right let's just do that okay you can call it whatever you want to and then go to next keep this on never keep this on never but it's your own personal preference and say create now you on it now you have a power option over here which is your own power plan that you just created and go to change plan settings you're going to go to ch change advanced power settings and you're going to go over here and as you can see this one is now active now the first thing you're going to need to do is this turn off hard disk after you're going to type in zero just like this and click anywhere and it's going to say never now what this does is this is very important for people out there that's running their machines or their games on a hard drive not a solid state drive but a hard drive i highly recommend you go ahead and do this i do this and i still am running m.2s and ssds and i still go ahead and put this off i do not have a single hard drive in my machine but i still go ahead and turn this off it's very important to go ahead and do this scroll all the way down go to process of power management all right go to minimum process state now as you can see it says 100 percent here now for laptops you're going to have two options here it's going to say plugged in and on battery go ahead and change this to 100 percent just type in 100 and then there you go once you're done with that you go to maximum performance and make sure both of them are also on 100 percent if you are running a laptop plugged in and on battery put it on 100 percent and it's going to push more performance out of your cpu and trust me ladies and gentlemen just by changing this can increase your fps by a couple of frames and it actually does help with gaming a lot right all you're going to do is say apply and then say OK and then go to power options over here. And as you see, you have this active right now. So this is active for every single game you're going to be playing. And this is the best settings for your machine, your Windows you're currently running. All right. OK. Doesn't matter. Like I said, Windows 11 or 10 or if you're playing this on a laptop or using a laptop or playing games on a PC. All right. The next step you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in graphics settings just like this and then open up your graphics settings now if you are playing a specific game then you can go to browse and you can add them inside here and make sure you put them on high performance this does help for games out there that you are currently busy playing doesn't matter if it's a single player game or a multiplayer game this way it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. I highly recommend go ahead and switch this on. If you are a person like a Twitch streamer or a YouTube streamer or whatever the case might be and you stream while playing games, then I highly recommend you turn this off. Now, if it's on and you turn it off, it's going to ask you to restart your PC. If it's off and you turn it on to get better performance out of your game and you don't stream, then go ahead and switch this on and it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Now, I'm just going to make an example of how to add a game inside here. Just click on browse and I'm going to go to this PC. I'm going to go to my Steam install over here and I'm going to go to Steam apps and I'm going to go to common. I'm just going to add Among Us inside here and you must make sure that it says Among Us.exe. It must be the exe file and just say add. Now, as you can see, this is the exe file. You just click on options over here, go to high performance and then say save. And then this will be inside here. You can add every single game you're currently playing inside here and make sure you do this. What I just did now with the exe, go to options, high performance, and then say save. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next step, the next step is going to be NVIDIA control panel. Just right click on your desktop. If you are a NVIDIA user like me, and then go to NVIDIA control panel like this, open up your NVIDIA control panel. And then the first thing you're going to need to do is go to adjust image settings with preview. Make sure it is on use the advanced 3D image settings. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm going to show you why I'm using this one over here and not this over here. 
So you're going to click on this and then it's going to say, take me there. It's very easy to do this. When you click on take me there, it's basically just going to take you over here. Now, if you want to do this for an individual game, you can go ahead and do that. Go to program settings and then select the individual game and then change the settings inside there for what specific game you are busy playing right now. But to do it for every single game you are playing, every single game you are playing right now, then you, like for instance, there's Apex Legends. Now you can change all the settings you want to for your NVIDIA control panel for the specific game. The global settings is for every single game that you are busy playing right now. Now I highly recommend you go ahead and change this, all of these things. You can just pause the video and follow all of these steps that I did over here. It's very important to change all of these. Okay, where it says OpenGL rendering GPU, I highly recommend you go ahead and click on this and go to your specific dedicated graphics card you are currently running. Do not say, say auto select, select your graphics card. Prefer maximum performance on this one, default driver on, clamped, and then quality. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are running a lower end budget gaming laptop or budget gaming PC, I highly recommend go ahead and put this on performance. If you put this on high performance, your game is not going to look that great, but you will get more FPS out of your game. If you're a frame per second chaser, then go ahead and put this on high performance. I do recommend either just performance or quality, depending on the machine that you're running, what generation of machine you are running, depending on the graphics card, CPU, and RAM that you are currently using. I keep on on quality, put this on, on auto, off, use the 3D application settings, one, and then off. And then you're going to apply these settings just like this. All right, the next step you're going to need to do do is go to config and surround physics and make sure that you have this one over here selected on your graphics card not your cpu not auto select on your graphics card now i'm just going to change this so i can apply these settings go to your graphics card your dedicated graphics card you can't be using and then go to apply like this and it's going to apply it to your physics for your graphics card all right this one over here this is not to increase fps ladies and gentlemen it has nothing to do with increasing fps but what it does is it makes your game look much much better your games in general every single game that you're going to be playing it will just make it look much much better instead of using the video filters that actually decreases your fps in some cases i highly recommend go ahead and do this it can't do anything to your fps it can't make it climb up and it can't make it go down so it can't decrease your fps it can't increase your fps but it can make your games look much much better all you need to do is go to image 3 over here so you can actually see this little yellow buggy with the three guys standing over there then what you're going to do is go to digital vibrance and then find your sweet spot over here mine is 85 for my specific screen now yours will obviously be different because everyone has a different screen like a laptop screen a gaming monitor a normal monitor whatever the case might be go find your sweet spot inside here once you're done with that you're just going to say apply and then you're going to go out of this all right the next step you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in device manager just like this and then open up device manager all right to see if anything needs an update you can right click on here and go to scan for hardware and changes and it will let you know if something needs to be updated all right from here you're going to go to display adapters and it's going to show you your dedicated graphics card right click on it and say update drivers and then say search automatically it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed now this is the easy and simple way of letting you know if you have the latest drivers installed because if it doesn't show you this and it starts downloading something then it means that your graphics card is out of date now there's another way of doing this obviously is just going to any search browser and then type in the graphics card you're currently running let's say for instance like me i would type in the video RTX 2060 driver download and go ahead and download your driver, the latest drivers for your machine. If you do go ahead and download the latest drivers for your graphics card, I highly recommend you go ahead and install this, which is GeForce Experience. It will keep your graphics card drivers up to date and it will let you know here in the right hand corner, this will become yellow over here, like a yellow dot, and it will let you know if you need to update your graphics card drivers. So I'm just going to open this up and just show you guys how this looks. This is the only reason why I have GeForce Experience is basically to just keep my graphics card drivers up to date because you just click on check for updates and it will let you know if you have the latest drivers installed on your graphics card. All right, so this is the only reason why I'm using GeForce Experience. I do not use it to play games through here at all because I have my own launches over here. I do not need to play my games through here. This is just to keep my graphics card up to date, okay? This is the only reason why I'm using this. And then also GeForce Experience, you can re do recordings by just pressing Alt and Z, and you can do recordings like this if you want us to do 
I don't know, record gameplay or whatever the case might be. And you just press Alt and Z again and it will go away. Now you can do that by having it closed. You can still obviously have your Alt and Z to do recordings for your gameplays. Now do trust me on this. You're going to lose about maybe 5 to 10 FPS by recording like this some of your games. Some games do it. I don't know why, but it's just the, the case of it using, you know, your graphics card DRAM. And that's why you decrease in FPS while recording. But it's your own personal preference if you want to record like this or use OBS or whatever the case might be in recording your gameplay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are using MSI Afterburner, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you are not using it, I highly suggest you go ahead and go and download this program if you are using a NVIDIA graphics card. This helps performance by a lot. Now, I've seen drastic performance increase by just using this program. The reason why people are using this is not just because of overclocking they also do it because they can change the fan curve and the fan speed of the gpu because if your gpu gets hot it's going to throttle and then if your graphics card is going to throttle what's going to happen is you're going to lose frames because your graphics card is overheating so i highly recommend just changing this from i don't know maybe 30 percent to like maybe 75 there around or all the way to 100%. It's your own personal preference, depending how far your PC is away from you, because it's going to sound like a jet engine if you put this on 100%. But if you have no problem with it, go ahead and change it to the highest it can go to, and then just apply it, and then go play your games. It's going to decrease the heat of your graphics card, and you won't throttle your graphics card and lose frames in your game. All right now, mine is like this. I have mine on 90 and this is my overclocking, all right? And this is when I don't play games. I let my fan run at 35% because I'm not playing games, I'm just doing whatever the case might be. But if I do play games, I go ahead and put this on my little overclock that I have for MSI Afterburner. Now, MSI Afterburner is very, very safe right now, specifically for newer generation graphics cards. If you do overclock your graphics card too much, it will just reset everything to its default settings. But if you are unsure about overclocking your graphics card, then I highly recommend just play with your fan speed. This decreases throttling. Please go ahead and do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, be on New Year. And as always, peace.